All right, everybody, I'm back. Um, so uh, we're gonna do some ears. Um, ears are like actually one of my favorite things to do. Um, the reason why I have these three red rubber ribs out um, are because red rubber ribs from Mud Tools are really great templates for ear shapes. <laughs> All right. I typically don't have to use these much anymore in this manner, but um, what's really nice is like you can create three different ear sizes. So I'm gonna just go jumbo here. All right, just for the sake of demo. Okay, so I'm gonna take some clay here. I'm going to just trace that. Uh, this is really helpful whenever you're making a full bust and you have to make two ears that are the same size. You can use a red rubber rib to help you out. I am currently unable to find my paring knife and I'm about to lose it. I'm sure it's somewhere in my studio. All right. Now that we have our ear shape defined, I'm going to add a little bit of what might be a head behind it. So I'm gonna kind of thin that ear out a little bit, just kind of trying to create the actual shape and feel of an ear to begin with before I start doing any carving or detail work. So really making sure that it follows like the typical curves of an ear. Um, we're really getting the back side of the ear defined a little bit. So I'm gonna keep pushing down and around. And this is where the ear will join the head. Slice off a little bit of this extra stuff we don't need. Okay. Just make a little flat block of clay here. Nothing too crazy fancy. All right. Okay, so we have the shape of the ear defined. Not perfect, but it's gonna do. Because really what I wanna focus on is getting the ear canal and the shape of that right. So it can be really tricky, but once you figure out um, how to do it, it's a lot easier. So you have to just kind of understand how the ear works. So the human ear is really interesting because it's conical. So it actually funnels sound into the ear. So you'll see here, right in there. So if you think about it like that, um, you're a little bit more, you're more able to think about how the ear is actually shaped. All of those interesting shapes that are in the ear are actually there for a purpose. It allows sound to bounce off and then be funneled right into your head really interesting. Um, I think it's really important to understand why certain parts of our body work the way they do 
Um, and that allows us to sculpt with more, a little bit more um, idea of, of the purpose of the, of the form. That made absolutely no sense what I just said. <laughs> Anywho, all right. It's gonna go for it. So first I'm gonna start by drawing that conical shape. So I usually start from the inside of the ear. So I'm creating this portion here. I believe this is called tragus. So we're going to be carving out that funnels into the inner ear. Ooh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Carving things not yet. All right, and that is going to end about there. And then I'm going to create that line. It's going to create that other conical shape. And that's going to connect to that here. All right, pretty simple, right? Okay, so the rest of it's going to be mostly carving and taking clay away. All right, so I'm going to start by just simply carving away a big hunk of it here. We're really going to deepen that crevice in the ear. Remember your ears are a lot more complex than you think. They're a lot deeper than you think. Some people have a lot larger ears than others. Some people have tiny ears. They're all very, very different. So next time you're at a party, which will probably be three or four months from now, <laughs> take a look at everyone's ears. Notice how different they are. Okay. Keep carving that clay out. That's going to go in pretty deep here. Of course, this is where the um, ear canal is. So I'm going to kind of dig deep in there. The nice thing about um, ear canals, it's the perfect place to hide an air hole when you have a piece that you don't want to explode. Nostrils and ear canals are great for hiding air holes. All right, again, digging clay out and removing clay from the inside of the ear. All right, so that inner ear is looking pretty good to me. All right, so I'm gonna start with um, the earlobe here. So I'm gonna push that clay back. Sometimes I'll dig a little clay out to create that, the curve of the earlobe. It's not just straight like jut in and out, it's curved nicely and it's a bigger curve on some, some people have a tighter curve than others. This portion dips underneath this portion of the ear. There's a little bit of a um, concave portion here. I'm gonna take some clay out of there. And right here. I'm gonna add a little extra right on this ridge. So again, I'm going to accentuate that concave point there a little bit more. To really kind of create this nice shape here. I'm going to kind of curve that. Okay. All right, 
right, so I'm just going to take a little clay and add some right here for a little bit of that extra lobe and tissue cartilage that exists right there. This portion right here and this portion right here and sometimes even this lower lobe right here attaches to the head it's attached there too smooth that out very well blend it Extend that lobe a little bit more. Okay. I like to kind of play with the shape a little bit after I'm done, like sculpting it a little. The nice thing about ears is they can have quite a bit of character, so I can kind of push that back a little bit, dip that in further. Sometimes the, the um, I believe it's the tragus is more defined on some people than others. Where it's really thin, really thick, really far inset, or protrudes really far out. Different on everyone. Oh my gosh, I just realized I'm like basically covering up everything I'm doing. <laughs> All right. All right, that's an ear. Um, yeah, that's how I do it. That's what I think is the easiest way to do it as well. Um, again, if you don't have clay, you're welcome to draw these things. You're welcome to do three drawings. Um, um, taking up one page is totally fine. Make sure like they're really nice and well thought out. Um, or if you want to do more sketchy stuff, do, do some more. Just make sure you're taking as much time as you would if you were sculpting, okay? Um, I don't want you to think that drawing is an easy way out um, because you know how to do it or it doesn't take long. I want you to really work hard on these things and, and, and take your time. Um, but yeah, um, if you guys have any questions or have any concerns about any of this stuff, just please let me know. Um, and yeah, miss you. It was nice talking to you all today. All right. Bye.